Hello, and welcome to Net at Works Sage 100 Training Tips and Tricks Series. My name is Andrew Crane, and today we're going to look at check modification and check maintenance. As you all know, when creating check runs, we go into the check printing and electronic payment. Inside, we can select which invoices we want to pay. Notice that if I pick a date, all we will see are the checks with that date or before. Because my sample data here goes back to 2019, if I go and look at 2016, I don't see any checks available. So a lot of times, to make it easy so that you see all the checks, oftentimes we put a date out in the future. This will allow you to see all the invoices that exist, so you can pick and choose which ones that you do want to pay. They may be due this week. You may want to run some checks due next week or even the following week. So by picking a date out in the future, whether we go out an extra year or we go out a couple of months, it will allow us to see all the invoices that we have available to pay. When we select our invoices, we have the ability to use the Windows feature of selecting one check, holding the Shift key, and selecting everything in between or holding the control key, we can select various invoices that we want to pay. We also get a total down at the bottom. In this particular case, I'm gonna pick two invoices for one of the vendors. Actually, I have three, and I'll click OK. Now, if I print, the preview to see which checks I've selected, here we can see, and I'll make this bigger, we can see the checks that are going to be printed. Notice that the system wants to pay every invoice in full, and oftentimes we may not want to do that. So I'm going to say no to this and go in so we can make a change. Now also inside invoice payment selection, if I saw from that list that I made a mistake, I can hit the clear button and disregard or delete all those entries and start anew. So now I'm going to pick a couple from Airway. I'm going to pick one from Climate and one from Anders. Again, let me print that so we can see which we're going to pay. And now you see that we have the two from Airway, one from All Climate, and one from Anders. Now let's assume at this case that we do not want to pay those in full, and we may make, want to make other changes. So here we have the lookup of all my vendors, because if I want, I could add another vendor and another check. And this is my special lookup, which in this case, these are the three entries. So for Airways, what we're looking at is the check for 1750 and 767 equaling 2517. Well, let's assume I only want to pay 1700 on this invoice, and I only want to pay 700 on this invoice, the new total being 2400. If I look at the next check, I have $75, and I'm going to pay that in full. And then the next one, is $1,040.50, and on this one, I only want to pay 1000 even. Now, some of the other features that we have is uh, notice that in here, the entry is one. Sometimes we have a vendor that wants to have a separate check for a specific invoice. So I have the ability to do a separate check by putting in an entry two. Inside of here, I'm gonna uncheck electronic payment. Under here, I can look for the invoice that I wanna pay. I can select that invoice and pay in full or pay in partial and accept it. So let's take a look again 
at the invoices that we have selected. So we have check number one for Airways for the 2400, and I have check number two for Airways for 950, as well as the All Climate check and the Anders check. So there's a total of four checks. Now we're going to go print those checks. And in this case, whether we wanted to do electronic payments, hard checks, or both, we could. I'm just going to select checks at this time. It's defaulted to the last check form that I used. In this case, we actually print the MICR coding on a check, so we use blank check stock. And I'm going to go ahead and print these normally. It tells me the last check number was 21. It reminds me to remove my check stock and replace it with paper. And now I'm going to print the check register. Check register again showing check 18 was for 2400. Check 19 both to Airways was for 950. Check 20 and 21. Now I'm going to update and post. So that is how we use the maintenance part of check maintenance to modify the amount of the check that we want to pay against an invoice. We could add invoices to pay. We could add vendors and invoices. And in another case, we could create a separate check. If you have any questions or want further information, please reach out to your account manager on the screen or Lisa Margolis, our consulting manager, or myself, Andrew Crane, and we'll be more than happy to help you see how can you get the most out of applying all the features of Sage 100 to make your business easier. Thank you very much.